computer. Okay. All right, then. I have to more have a scoring in to prove <laughs> that I actually talk to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you, what material do you use to teach IELTS? I use uh, this book from Cambridge. It's called, mm -hmm. uh, well, hold on, I forgot the name of that book. It's, um, it, it's a really, really good book and it's very thorough. And also I use materials from Cambridge, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, most of them are really helpful for my students. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some of my students think it's quite difficult, but, um, you know, I enjoy using them a lot because um, the result is Sorry. quite satisfactory, I guess. Do you use a really big books or use things like this? Yeah, things like that. Uh, only I use ebook version, you know. The, oh, the e I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was using ebook too, but um, I was doing long distance from Valley Pakpon in uh, Kalimantan. Uh, uh -huh. They sent, they sent the books. All right, instead of the e, instead of electronic copy, but those are okay. I don't, I really use them. Uh, I use the other stuff. But all right. So, um, are you from Bandung? Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't born here. I was born in Bekasi. But I didn't remember what it was like. I. <laughs> I can tell you what it's like. You don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> really? You have been there. Oh, uh, yeah, I live in uh, Tongarans a lot of time. If I want to go to Bandung or something, Georgia, uh -huh. i got to go through Bakasi with a toll road. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been there a couple of times, you know, to visit my aunt. And, yeah, it's not actually a pleasant place. <laughs> well, well, going through is actually better because they got the flyover now. Right, right. Yeah, they have the so flyover. Right yeah. on by. And it's, oh, it's so nice. Um, yeah, how, long have, uh -huh. how, how long have you been here? Uh, in, in 11 region. years. 11 wow. Years. Okay. Yeah. So you're working. Uh, so you're a teacher. Yeah, I work for uh, English First, my main job. Oh, okay, wow. And I and I do uh, private part times. You know, extra oh, you oh, okay. Uh, yeah, B, I'll help BB occasionally, but usually <laughs> um, my afternoons and evenings are tied up, so there's not too many. She can't help me a whole lot. You know, uh -huh. Most of her classes are business, and they want classes like three or four. I I can't do it. Um, but well, I told her in the morning is fine, but you know, most businesses don't want in the morning. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow, that's amazing. 11 years, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you like it here? Indonesia is great. I've been here 11 years, so I must like it. Uh, it takes some getting used to. Um, the traffic's the you know, one thing that makes me uh, angry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> the food's great. The people are fine. Nice scenery. Um, where I live is okay. It's like 20, 30 minutes away from everything. Um, and the toll roads are getting built, which makes it easier to get around. Mm -hmm. um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I've been here 11. I got a KTP. I got Sim A, Sim C. Um, so oh, you got everything. Wow. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, so you're officially Indonesian then? Half Indonesian. Ha half Indonesian. Okay. I, I can't vote. I'm not a citizen, but I can do oh, everything oh. else. Okay. But, uh, but you got the ID card, right? Yeah, I got an ID card, but it's uh, only good for 10 years. I go get oh. another one. Oh, okay. My passport's American. Um, the main reason is because I get a pension from the United States government. Uh -huh. If I become an Indonesian citizen, bye-bye pension. Um, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm keeping that. It's just it's uh, not worth it <laughs> okay. to, to lose it. It's too, too, too much. I still, it's still good money, yeah? Yeah, it's good. I can retire off it if I wanted to, but maybe in a year um but i want to save up money to go back to america and that's gonna that's a lot of money i'm gonna go visit my wife wants to go up you know grand canyon and all that stuff <laughs> right right so i gotta save up some money uh, but, but where are you where are you from originally i'm from the united states uh yes um, uh, i'm from virginia oh wow okay i grew up newport news i traveled around a lot as a kid but i pretty much lived there majority of my time um um, that was pretty much it. I've been teaching, like like I said, 11 years. Before that, I was in the military doing communications. That was my, my background. Wow. Thank you for surfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's uh, 21 years. Well, that's where I got my pension from. Oh. All i got to do to keep it is breathe, and that's it. <laughs> Are you that's alive? It. Yes, I am. All right. Here's your pension. <laughs> okay. Sweet. All right. So anyway, okay. yes. you're familiar with the IELTS speaking test, right? Uh, yes, I am. All right. How many parts? Oops, I just showed you. How many parts are on it? 
three parts. Okay. You know what the first part is? Yeah. Um, well, personal conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's introduction interview. Introduction and so on, yeah. How about the second part? Second part is describing whatever it is in the card, right? Yeah, uh, bingo. The individual long term, okay? And the yeah. third part? And the third part is discussion. Yeah, it's, it's a two-way discussion about the part two. All right. Yeah. The yeah. topics are somewhat similar. Okay. So what we're going to do is I got to um, ask you some questions. We'll do part one. Okay. Whoops. And we get cracking. All right. Sorry, man. I got to get the questions here. Okay. Again, these are things you might have already mentioned to okay. me, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Um, um, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Where is the Zoom? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So well, let's talk about your hometown or village. All right. Mm -hmm. What kind yes, of place yeah. is it? If you can't remember Bakasi, that's fine. Talk about Bandung. Yeah, well, I grew up here, so I remember a lot about my city. Uh, it's quite a, well, how do you call it? It's amazing. Uh, you got food, views, uh, good people too, um, rich culture, I guess. And uh, mostly I like it here because it's cold. That's it. Cold? Yeah, no. yeah, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's really cold here. Uh, you like where, the cold weather, huh? Yeah, I like cold weather. Yeah, I like cold weather a lot. I mean, like where I live here, it can get like 16 or 15 degrees in the morning, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You should go to Dieng. That's cold. Yeah, that's icy. <laughs> yeah, you go to America and wake up, it's minus 15 or something. <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> that's horrid. Yeah, uh, yeah. What kind of place is it? It's like uh, metropolitan suburban um what kind of place is it well to be honest i'm not sure what is this right now it's it's mm -hmm. metropolitan they say you know uh on the minus the big buildings we we have a couple of big buildings out there and we have some interesting facilities but most of the areas here are suburban to be honest i mean okay. like yeah but but the people are living metropolitan life so okay, okay. i can say it's metropolitan i guess yeah all right yeah you're right there's a many tall towers there just the yeah, hotels there um what uh what's the most interesting part of your city um i'd say the tourist destinations i guess yeah we have a lot of tourist destinations most of which even you know we as bandung people we don't know about them so people from outside the town they know about it but we don't know so i don't know it's magic but um the tourist destinations you know the tourism spots they're actually memorable very memorable yeah you know Gudu Sate, well people go there a lot we also have um dago yeah dago area it's mm -hmm, up there mm -hmm. uh, people go there for the food and also for the view so like da well, dago yeah yeah do you know dago i heard uh, is that new like le bong le bong oh uh, it's actually below Lembang yeah oh okay uh, okay yeah yeah it's, it's not actually Lembang yet but it's going there yeah it's up in upper region of Bandung oh but... yeah yeah I think I've, I've been there something there I can't remember the name though yeah you sit there and you can see the city yeah like, this the yeah this is if you right the skyline yeah you can all mm -hmm, you see mm -hmm. there yeah yeah so that's uh I think yeah that's what's memorable about my town you know you know the view or something like that so people go up all the time yeah, yeah. I went last time with the Bandung went up to Rancho Bali um and the Where clamping up Rancho oh, Bali the, oh. Uh, uh, uh yeah, 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 I think south of Bandung up in the mountains. Okay, yeah, it's up there. Right. Tea plantations of strawberries. Oh, that was, right, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, so what kind of jobs do people do in your city? Um, well, it's really hard to tell generally. Most of us become um civil servants, you know. Here, it's quite a job here. People like want to go. I want to become civil servant, you know. And the parents tell you you have to become civil servant. So it's quite a traditional thing here. Uh, but I guess the young people in Bandung they're fearing towards uh, what we call as the creative industries. Mm. Yes, there are a lot of start startup companies here, and you know, <laughs> yeah crazy a lot of separate companies i've never heard before never at all and this these people you know these young kids you know 2021 20, just got out from university they all go there yes it's either there or go to the country work for the government yeah. so bandung has a big uh i don't know tech technological sector or art art sector yeah we can say that although i'm <laughs> not sure it's being marketed um i don't know it's it's i think i think it's not being properly marketed yeah i mean like they say that we are the city of technology but i don't see how it's used yeah here. you're right i haven't heard about that at all <laughs> you never heard about that right well, so, there you go so yeah. i said you should man 
marketing. Just, it looks like it's a big hole for marketing in Von Doom again. Um, yeah. That'd be good to think. It's, it's, it's all talk, I guess. Yeah, it's all talk. Yeah, yeah, all talk, but no action. I, yeah. I, I'm sure they maybe they do, but like you said, it's not marketed. Yeah, not marketed everything's, properly, yeah. yeah. Everything's Jakarta, 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 Jakarta. Right, 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 Jakarta. Von Doom, okay. Um, all right, let's move on to accommodation. Where? Uh -huh. Where do you live? I mean, you live in a house, apartment, cost? Uh huh. I live in a house. Yes, I live in a house. Um, most of us in Manu would live in a house. Actually, it's too expensive to rent an apartment. Yeah, I don't know mm -hmm. why. It's been expensive since like four or five years ago. So uh, it's easier to buy houses, even though it will take lifetime to, you know, finish off the payment. But uh, still, a house is more comfortable and more affordable. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Apparently, you, you, you bought a house. Oh, it's my parents' house, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. What part of town is it in? It's uh, Western Bandung. Um, well, it's a bit up there. I'm mm -hmm. not actually close to any anywhere, you know. Oh, I want to go to the mall. I have to go, like, take 50 or 20 minutes uh, driving. Yeah, driving, true, yes. true. Here in Jakarta, <laughs> you every, there's a mall in any direction you go. Um, yes. Yeah, even yeah, where precisely. I live in Tagoran, it's a lot down. There's, like, one, two, like four or five that are, you know, 15, 20 minutes away. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long have you lived in your house with your parents? I have lived here. Or I have been living for uh, with my parents my entire life, actually. So mm -hmm. 26 years. Uh, okay. I've lived here in this part for 12, um, well, no, actually it's 22 years. Yeah. Would you like to buy your own house sometime? Of course, yeah, that's my <laughs> biggest dream, actually. I, but I just, I, I don't want the, those big houses they have, you know. I just oh, yeah, want yeah. the, yeah, small one, comfortable one, enough for me and my wife and my, you know, my children, you know. Yeah, enough are for you, four. Are you, married, are you married now? No, not, not oh, yet. later, yeah. in the future. Later, yeah, in the future, yes. How much is, a say, a normal house in Bandung? Um, right now, we're looking at a price range of 800 million to 2 billion. Yes. Jeez. That's expensive. <laughs> well, it's better than you know renting apartment here, I guess, which can cost more than two. The big, the big ones, yes. And I don't know, some people, many people choose that. Uh, you know. How about uh, outside Bandung? Would it be cheaper? Outside Bandung, let's see the remote areas. What we call the remote areas. It's mm -hmm. not even Bandung, you know. It's cheaper, but the accessibility is really poor. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like here, you know, no one can afford to live in Jakarta. They all move to Depok, uh, <coughs> Tangeran, Bekasi. Um, but, yeah, we have better accessibility here. We've got commuter trains and uh, MRT and stuff. Yeah, yes. Jeez, that's expensive. Well, that's you, can quite get, you can get a good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. It's about the same here. Um, I think probably a little bit more, honestly, for a. a I bought my house, what, nine, eight years ago? It was like 300 million. Wow. Uh, um, but, but I'm sure it's double it, doubled by now, probably eight. Um, but well, that was a long time ago. It's in Pomalong huh. with a, you know, yeah, this house there, was also, yeah, Pomalong, you know, the road is bad. <laughs> this house was also like, it was like 350 million. Yeah. Uh, when my parents bought this house, I built it, this house, yeah, and now it's like around 1.5. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's why you buy a house. You never lose money. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, so what type of house would you like to have? I mean, bedrooms, bathrooms, swimming pool, two floors, garage, garden. What would be your dream house? My dream house is, you know, well, I want a house with a garden. Yeah for mm -hmm. my children to play mm -hmm. i don't want my children to live in a small space where they feel you know kind of jailed <laughs> yeah i want yeah. them to run around you know it's, it's kind of cute you know with their own dogs or something like that uh <clears throat> well something enough for them to run around uh swimming pool no i don't think so uh, i don't need that kind of luxury it's yeah just, it's kind of cold in bandung anyway yeah it's kind of cold in bandung. and it's mm -hmm. really expensive you know yeah i'm um, sure <laughs> yeah it's really expensive yeah. i don't have maintenance cost okay yeah. And I don't want it too big. It's just enough, yeah. Just enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enough. That's all. I need. Yeah, some people get these giant houses, and you walk in there, it's like a 
chair and a couch and a TV, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? Afford it. They can buy the house and they can't afford to, to, to furnish it. All right, so what we need to do is this. We need to move on to part two. Uh -huh. All right. Um, all right, let me figure out how to do it. Ah, there it goes. Oops. How do you go? All right, cut, paste. Well, come on. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> All right, this is you are familiar. You get a little card. Uh, yes. You got to do all the stuff. You get one minute to prepare, and you got to talk for one to two minutes. All right. Um, okay then. Then after this, we do part three, which is based on this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I need a watch. Uh, turn on my clock. Yay. All right. This is your instruction. Describe something you own, which is important. Where you got it, how long you had it, what you use it for, and explain why it's important to you. All right. Mm -hmm. You can take notes or just use your brain. It's up to you. Again, this is not an official scoring. Yeah, right. well, yeah. Okay, so, bing, your one minute has started. Okay, thank you. Let's take a note here. <clears throat> All right, your one minute is up. I'll okay. start the timer whenever you start talking. Okay, then. <clears throat> so, may I begin? Go ahead. All right, so um, there's this one thing that I think is really important in my life. It's my guitar. I got it from, well, I bought it in a music store a long time ago. Um, I think it's been like 11 years since I had it. Yeah, uh, it's 11 years. Yeah, I've been playing it for a long time. Uh, my teacher told me that my ability to focus was really poor. <laughs> and he told me to, you know, maybe you should play music. And so I bought that guitar. I bought that guitar. Um, I asked my parents to actually accompany me to choose one, the best one. And then I started playing it. I started, um, you know, taking courses and also learning how to play songs. And I think it, it's, it really helps me with my focus. It's really important for me because what my teacher said was actually true, although I hated to admit it. It's just Absolutely, I had a different life when uh, and that guitar came into my life. I can focus better, and my grades just suddenly go up, you know. And also, I got my music skills. Now I know that I can play music. I am still playing it until now, you know, looking for new songs to learn, and also upgrading my ability, uh, make, making sure that my skill is put to good use. Yeah, uh, I actually quit the um, taking tutors taking lesson because I don't I simply don't have the time for it anymore so I now I just play for fun casually yeah I used to learn classic but now I just learn it casually I just play it casually I don't really care about the theories and so on mm -hmm. like that I just play it for fun okay. yes and um, I never thought that actually what my teacher said is really impactful now I, I really love that guitar it's part of my life now I consider it as my another brother. And also, I think that now that the guitar is in uh, my hand, I can do everything. I can do anything. I can move on to piano. I can move on to drums, you know, anything. Just like, just because I have this kind of instrument. Okay, good. That was over two minutes. That was fine, fine. Oh, okay. That was good, good. I never, I never oh, talked like that before. I mean, guitar and being focused and helping your grades, that's, that's interesting. All right. You, yes. Um, are you good? Well, I'm not really sure if I'm good or not. Yeah, I. 
well, I think I am, but <laughs> I'm not okay. sure. My, well, when yeah. you play the guitar, do people tell you to stop or anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. They they like they like it when I play guitar. Actually. All right, and you're pretty good. That's in, that's good oh, stuff. Well. It's interesting. All right. Thank you for the nice words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, where'd you learn to speak English? I went to an international school when in, I was in, in Bandung. In Bandung, yeah, and they kind of forced me, like, "Oh, you have to speak English," and <laughs> and you know. I well, gotta yeah, it's take an international that, school. It's an international school, so I gotta take that mandatory the uh, mandatory course for six months, you know, and it was a really long course. So before you get in, you have to take this course. It was like yada yada yada, and then so I took the course. And the course was provided by the school completely free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, should I decide whether I want to join or not? Yeah, it's up to me. Well, I decided, of course. You know, I joined the six months course it will it will be a waste of time before i move to a public school right so i just yeah, took that yeah, yeah. opportunity and you know just got in there oh, yeah, it's job. an amazing experience yeah good good uh good job all right so um oops we did that's good moment part three here uh let's consider how people's values have change uh what kind of things give status to people in your country sorry can you please repeat yeah sure thing what kind of things Mm -hmm. give status to people in your country oh wealth <laughs> that's that's uh, the most i don't know the most acceptable theory i think the most acceptable concept in in this country you know so basically if you own an immense amount of wealth then people you know see you as someone of a higher social class yeah probably yeah so status, status here is viewed as something exclusive yeah exclusive it's a bit more like a privilege. So if you have a lot of money, probably you're up there. If you don't, if you're not really that fortunate, you're a bit down there, and then you get opportunities for people like who 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 belong down here. People who have wealth get more opportunities, and people who have more wealth get more opportunities, and so on like that. You know. What do you yeah, mean so, by wealth? What oh. what 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 do you think is wealth? Well, wealth well, is wealth is a broad term. It is. It is, yeah. Well, it, well, how it works here is quite simple. You know, you own assets, you invest here and there, you own big buildings, cars, uh, you have great wealth, you know. If you can afford good lawyers whenever you got, you know, you got lawsuits, lawsuits, you're wealthy. That's it, you know. The concept well, what's is What's your definition simple. of wealth? Well, I think... For you. For me, my definition of wealth is, um, well, having sufficient financial resource to maintain a sustainable life, probably. Okay, that's a good textbook definition. How about personal life, um, family, job? Would you mm -hmm. consider that wealth? Well, I think, yeah, uh, if you have a good job that can keep your family fed i think that for me that's wealthy enough you know yeah what type, of job, I, what type of job would you like a high paying job that you hate or a low paying job that you're happy with um mm, low paid job that i'm happy with okay, actually okay. i'll take me in the middle maybe yeah <laughs> well, um, yeah yeah the one thing i would hate i don't care how much you get paid i would hate <laughs> i would not like a job i hate it oh that's this this makes you miserable all right, good, 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 good. Um, what else am I going to ask you? Um, oh yeah, do you think advertising influences what people buy? Um, of course, especially if the advertisement is a bit persuasive. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you should see the advertisement in Indonesia. They're crazy. They're appearing every single time. You know, uh, like especially children, they're easily persuaded by advertisements. Well, the better mm -hmm. it's advertised the more likely consumers will buy their products of course okay. and uh, advertisements in indonesia are flashy you know sometimes they don't have meanings sometimes they are misleading but people still buy them buy them yeah buy the products that's advertisement anyway. that's all over not just that's, yeah right um the, the advertisements influence you well yeah sometimes yeah sometimes i'm interested in a certain product just because it's advertised and yeah like they throw that advertisement in my face so many times i like maybe i should try this option maybe i should try this product you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like me. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but that's the problem now you look on stuff on like uh interesting something like tokopedia or whatever 
Mm-hmm. It's popping up now on Instagram, Facebook. Right, right. You go, oh, jeez. And I'm interested <laughs> in it, so I do look at them. Um, some I just you know, ch- 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 get rid of. But, <laughs> oh, geez. You buy something, you know, they, they bombard you with it now. So, then I'm, on the bright side, I think, well, I just bought that. Why didn't you show it to me? I don't need it. Right, um, right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how about your hand phone? What brand do you have? I have Oppo. Yes. Okay. What influenced you to buy that? It's, advertisement? Uh, yeah. Well, it's not actually. Effort. Yeah, there there were advertisements about this phone. It's quite old. I I I don't recall. I saw an effort, uh, advertisement with about about this phone. I forgot the last time I saw an advertisement about this. But I think I got it because they market Oppo as cheap, valuable mm-hmm. phone. I guess. Yeah, it's quite strong. Yeah, it's quite strong. I've been. Are you happy with it? I am. I am. Okay. I am happy. Would you buy yes. another one? Um, not this model, I guess. I want to buy. Oh, no, I mean, one. upgrade. Yeah, would you upgrade? Upgrade, to yeah. Oppo again. Probably gonna get a Samsung. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought Samsung because, well, that was all they had at the store, um, and I'm familiar oh. with it. Uh, <laughs> you know, and you know, I don't want an Apple because I'm familiar to Samsung. I don't care what the advertisements are. Even Apple's probably a better phone overall, but uh, I'm happy with this, and I'm gonna stay with it. Yeah, like, as long as yeah, you're I with Sam- it, right? always had a Samsung. Well, this is not a Samsung now. It's a Mi. Oh, oh, oh uh, it's a Mi. Yeah, but uh, like it was. We were, we didn't get didn't see an advertisement. We just walked by the store. Um, this was a couple years ago. Um, walked in, looked around. Oh, it looks good prices, good quality, and good picture, good specs, and bought it. That's how we did it. And mm-hmm. I've been, this one's an upgrade from my old one because I dropped it, cracked the screen. Same brand though. Um, looks fine. Actually, I usually buy stuff. It's, I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Um, all right. right. Yeah. Okay. Well, enough of me talking. All right. <laughs> We're all done. You have any questions for me about anything? Well, can I ask you a lot of things? Yeah, Maybe go like... ahead, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, how, first, what should I call you? Oh, Rick. Down okay. like that, Rick. Yeah. I was about to call you Mr. Harbaugh, so... Oh, that's okay. Call me that. I would, I would correct you. I would say, just call me Rick or Mr. Rick. <laughs> okay, that's Rick. Okay, Sorry, that's... I was in a rush with the other girl because she started late because she had computer problems. So I was... Oh, okay. Of... Oh, you have another one after this? No, I had one before you. Uh, girl from Bali. You still there? Do, 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 do. Uh, to... Back, Beauty. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's my internet. I hear. Yeah, it's all oh, right. Oh, it just froze up God. a little bit. So, so you okay. have uh, you have another one after this? No, I had one before you. Oh, before me. Yes, but she started late, so I was kind of rushing in it. Not much <laughs> a gap between you and her. So, all right. Okay. Any wow. More questions? Well, yeah. Well, um, what do you think about my performance? I I, I was not sure, but your performance is excellent. You got you and the other girl I talked to. You guys speak very well. Well, thank you um, so much. Like her, are you nervous talking to me? Well, it's my first time actually facing an examiner. Yeah, so I'm not an examiner, okay? All right. I'm <laughs> okay. not an ex- I'm right. not an official examiner. Right. I'll give my opinion. I got some charts to look at, but what I score for you might be different from a, an examiner. I see. Right. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. Well, well, anyway, when you, people are nervous, like the girl before, you speak fast. Right. So, I noticed that too. I spoke mm-hmm. too fast. Yeah, just slow <laughs> down. Not as fast as her, but just slow down. Take a breath between periods and full stops. You know, give yourself a break. Um, it was fine, just a little fast. Um, that was about it. You said ya yeah, a couple of times. Again, I don't know if they would mark you down for that, but oh, be yeah, careful. yeah, mm-hmm. uh, a couple of verb present past simple verb slip ups, and that was it. Uh, I, you know, I was stretching for that. You know, you know, it wasn't often. It was pretty uncommon. But you, I did hear a couple, like two, maybe. All right. That's oh, it. okay. Okay. Again, I don't know if the score might let it slip mm-hmm. or not, but mm-hmm. I'll just let you know. Yeah, yeah, because usually I'm at the other end of this conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the one who asks my student, you know, you know, and this and this and that, and I give them feedbacks and so on like that. Now I'm at the other end, so. It feels different to me. It feels yeah, uh, it is. Phenomenal, uh, I guess. What do you think you would score yourself? What would you score yourself? Oh, something between seven point five, I guess, to eight. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
again, I'm not an official scorer, so don't get mad at my scores, not up your expectations. I got a Dutch double All right. in the Rubik's, okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, uh, we'll, I'll figure it out, though. Um, well, you did good. You did good. Uh, you and the other lady, I speak excellent. Thank Have you, you taken so an IELTS test before? No, actually. Have you taken like a practice test? Practice test, yeah, uh, for only for reading and listening. What'd you score in the reading and listening? Last time I think I got eight for okay, both of them. Okay, okay. All right. The yeah. the writing and speaking, well, you won't get an eight. Uh, maybe speaking possibly, uh, but the writing's difficult. All right. Um, right. So prepare yourself. Yeah. Do you need to take an IELTS test for your job? Hmm. Probably they're they're gonna ask me eventually. To, well, yeah, it's not just for the job. Um, it's also good for when you teach. You could explain this process uh, to your students. You could explain what to expect. Um, you know, I took the test too, so it, it's not bad. All right, <laughs> you could tell them how it is. I haven't taken it. I, I honestly, I need to take it too, just for that reason, just so I can know what it's like. Um, but well, I don't know what I would score. Probably not good. <laughs> but I hate the writing. What? A, really? yeah, the writing <laughs> kill me. And the, and the <laughs> reading is so boring. Um, it's it's tough. But other than that, you did fine. So um, thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, yeah you, so you, you speak very well. Um, yeah, just slow down, okay? And that's about right. It. Yeah, I think I was a bit nervous. Like you yeah, said. I know, I know, I know. That's mm -hmm. why you do practice, so you get less nervous. All yeah. right. Anything else? Well, yeah, I just want to say thank you. It's been enlightening me, uh, enlightening me, uh, enlightening. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's yeah. Um, I usually I'm 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 running out of ideas how to teach uh, speaking better, but I think you just gave me an idea. You know how to improve my teaching ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I have to, I owe you that. I owe okay. You that, well, yeah, good. I good. Good. Yeah. Ask a lot of follow up questions. Get them to think. <laughs> Open ended questions. Why this? Why do you feel like that? Okay. Um. You could you could deviate from the you know the typical IELTS questions. Get right. them to think. All right. So when it's, sometimes those questions are very formalistic. So Formal, it, yeah, they, they know what's coming next pretty much. Right. Uh, throw something odd in there to get them to think in a different direction. All right. Okay. Okay. Dave. Thank you so much. All wow. right. There, it's been amazing. A, right. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. You have a good day. Okay. You have a good day too. All right. All right. All right, take care, man. Happy weekend. Thank you, sir. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.